One, two, three. You want me to talk, talk, check, check? Can you hear yourself? Mm hmm. Yep. You look great in this light. <laughs> Got my good side. Oh my gosh! Man, I'm still waiting for Joe Rogan to call. <laughs> It's the man look. Do I look pretentious? That's a big P word. <laughs> do, it's, wait, do you know what that means? Pretentious. Pretentious means like a fancy lad. Okay. Yeah, you always look fancy. Like it in a bad way though. Oh, I wouldn't say you look fancy in a bad way. Oh, well, thank you're you. Always, you're always like Matt. You're always like your hair's always done. You always are well to do. I feel like we could just hop right into this, right? Because you you've, you've been here before. Sure have. And for some reason, you came back. You knew full well what to expect. I did. We had such a good time before. So. Aw. But you know what? We're missing something. Rob. Where's Rob? He sent the B team today. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> did you catch that wink? How long How long is Bali? Hi, everybody. How long? Have, <laughs> wait, did we introduce who you are? Not today. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> This is Ashley Gossman of Rosen's, just Rosen's, yes. or is it Rosen's Inc? Rosen's Inc, yep. That's cool. Yep. And you guys dabble in a lot of stuff, but we do. majority of it is crop protection service, or crop protection products. Correct. Is that yep. fair to say? Yes. Interesting. We like to have these kind of sessions so we can dive deeper into things going on in agriculture and with certain products. And it seems pertinent, especially these days, with the plethora another big word of different biological products that exist on the market. It can be very hard to maneuver through to see which ones are a best fit or cost effective, right? Which happens to be the same name of the product we're talking about today called, and look at it. It's maneuver. on the board. <laughs> it's called maneuver. It is. Yeah. But to your point, Matt, I mean, I really think this biological market, if you haven't dabbled in it already, seems like most growers are looking to try to do something to incrementally increase their yields. And that's where they're turning to. And you're going to see a lot of biologicals, biostimulants added into biopesticides, biofungicides. There, there'll be a lot more of this coming forward. It's not just a one and done type of a fad. Now, is it like additional products or products that are getting enhanced and like eventually replaced? You know, like some... Like seed treatments, for example, they keep adding on to base stuff. Yes. It's like when you look at like herbicides, there's not a brand new herbicide that's been introduced in quite a long time. So I believe it's probably going to look more of an enhancement or they're going to add biologicals to an insecticide to help give you more broad spectrum or season long control. It's to kind of make it a little bit more well-rounded and season long type of attributes. So let's talk about... This maneuver. Yep. So now you were talking about like season long effects. The one thing that was great about biolog biologicals from the get go was there's instant reaction from the row crop. But where people would get frustrated is it would be short lived. It would help out just in like germination or it would kind of peter out. But kind of reading through this and also understanding that this is like a a, a build on what Foster's was offering. Yes. This is something that kind of is built to go a full season. Correct. Yes. Yep. When we look at biologicals in general, bio meaning derived from something living, stimulant meaning it's going to stimulate. We Our goal is to stimulate a reaction in the plant, right? Or in the crop. Um, maneuver or Foster both, they both fall into these uh, bacteria, fungi, microbes type of quadrant underneath a biostimulant because biostimulant can mean a lot of things to a lot of people but these microbes are kind of the really i would say the hot topic lately you know we, there's a lot of other products on the market that have that fall into this this camp of microbes uh what makes foster and maneuver very different is you're right it does give season long activity because it is a bacteria and it's a it's really treating the soil it's a mechanism to get it into the soil, whether you're putting it in starter or you're spraying it on with a burn down. But we really want to introduce this bacteria into the soil so it can 
start to colonize and munch on organic matter, munch on the food source, maybe that's manure, and really try to bring those nutrients all season long, a flow of additional nutrients to that plant. You were just talking about like, so that they can break down stuff. Yep. So this isn't a residue management product. That's why Why is that significant? Why would I want to have, um, why would I want these bugs to break down stuff? Okay. So as you can see up on the board, I put on microbial acquired nutrition. And oh, that's highlighted in blue. Highlighted in blue. Um, but really that's what maneuver is meant to be or foster. So what they're doing is mineralization and solubilization two processes that are already occurring in the soil to begin with natural processes that are helping to break down nutrients that are tied up in the soil chemistry they're helping to speed up that reaction it's kind of like a probiotic for your gut right you're putting good bacteria into your body to help jumpstart the system yes and that's what we're doing here we're putting good bacteria in high CFU counts, there's 12 different strains, which is really unique. Uh, most of these bacteria products on the market in this microbial space have one, maybe two strains. They might just do nitrogen. Most of them just do one nutrient. Right. Where Maneuver is gonna do N, P, K, all your macros and micros. And so you have 12 different strains actively working in the soil to help that micro microbial acquired nutrition breaking down mineralization, solubilization, and oh, by the way, there's some nitrogen fixing bacteria on maneuver as well. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm glad you brought up the 12. That's very common in a lot of biologicals. We, we had that discussion, mm -hmm. um, especially when we were looking at other university trials where they're comparing different products, and it's a lot of like just this one or just that. Yep. Whereas you guys really stack these. So why have so many, why have so many in the bottle? So when we came out with Foster, Foster had original an eight strain bacteria. And the way Rosenus chooses those is probably about my pay grade. I mean, we can go into detail about what each of them do, but really starting now, starting now, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get down into the weeds. But really, I, I just think they bring a lot of value because if you only have one strain of bacteria and you put that in the soil, how I think it comes back to formulation. How is that bacteria derived and how is it formulated and how competitive is it going to be in the soil if you're relying just on one strain, right? There's billions of strains of bacteria naturally occurring in our soils. And so when they chose these 12 strains that are in maneuver or the eight strains that are in foster, which is the chassis that is maneuver, right. um, they were really careful in selecting ones that have good viability that are going to be stable and can be competitive that are naturally also naturally derived from our upper Midwest soils, not Brazil or Argentina. And we're trying to, so not in a bad competitive way. Correct. Yep. Yep. And we give them the best benefit to help that reaper, you know, their colonization in the soil, because we're trying to get as many of the good bacteria at higher levels to speed up those natural processes. Okay. Now you were talking about, um, you could throw this in chem. Yes. So this is like foliar, or you can incorporate it in the ground? Nope. So th you could probably, there's data we have from Rosen's that you can use this longer later in the season. But being we're uh, northern Wisconsin, we have a pretty short growing window, mm -hmm. right? I like to see maneuver because you heard me say it before, it needs to colonize in the soil. That's where it needs to start to multiply, divide, and go to work munching on that food source. So we'd like to see it on early. And think of it as a soil treatment. So I don't care if you put it on with your liquid starter fertilizer, if it's two by two in furrow, doesn't matter to me, but to get it into the soil is great. Or running it with a herbicide pass, like on a burn down, maybe it's your Zidua Pro Pass um, on soybeans. Maybe it's a burn down pass, uh, could be your corn herbicide pre-emerge. So many options. There's so many options, but those would be the two most common, right? Spraying it on pre-emerge or early, early, early post. Um, or running it with a liquid starter, or even just running it with water, you know, just to get it into the soil. You get, you, you've been bragging that this can go into any solution, but you know, fertilizers can be pretty nasty. Mm -hmm. uh, zinc, it can be a nasty item. Uh, chemicals, there's, there's pesticides in there. Yep. So how can this living thing survive in that kind of hot mess and then be able to pro proliferate in the ground? Good question. So. When we formulate, it goes back to formulation. Maneuver is formulated in an endospore form. So it's, it is- Did you get that out of home, folks? Endospore. Yes. So it is very stable in the form it's in. So when it's in the bottle, it has like a shelf life of three years. Once you crack that, it's a dry product. Once you crack the lid on that and you break the seal, 
it still has good viability. If you dump it in your nurse tank on top of your starter load and we get rained out for four days, it's it's going to be okay. It's in that stable what? form. Yep, it's in that stable form. So there's still salt sources, which can be a carbon source in you know in the fertilizer or even there's high salt loads sometimes with herbicides right um, obviously with uan but really that it stays in that endospore form until it hits the soil and that's when it really starts to proliferate your big p words you're throwing off. so it like this endospore is like an egg and then it hatches out of it or it i go- i slept in biology class <laughs> So it just, it's the form that it's a spore forming bacteria. And so it protects basically the easiest way without getting into the weeds is it protects that bacteria and keeps it very viable where some of them are more almost like an inoculant. Uh, some of these other competitor products and it, if it comes in contact with too much salt or zinc, they're just, it just knocks them out and they're dead where even, so I had a question the other day, let's say I put maneuver out, I sprayed it on, or I put it on with my starter fertilizer, it's on the field. The guy was, it's April, it's cold, and we freeze. Does that kill my bacteria? The the answer is no, because it can go back into that endospore form to protect itself and back and forth. Is this something that you get, it's a one-time application? Cause then, like you said, like winter goes through and you're like, ah, they're still out there. They're still good. They'll start hitting it hard the next season. Or is this something that you have to keep applying? That's a good question. So with Maneuver, we feel like you're gonna get a good six months, which is longer than our growing season. Um, uh, what do I wanna say? Not efficacious, uh, but life expectancy for the most part out of Maneuver. We do get some winter survivability out of it, however, I would still want to just, again, I kind of go back to a being a probiotic. You still want to just overload that, that soil if you really want to drive this microbial acquired nutrition component and really drive that nutrition to the, to the plant the following season. So I would apply it every year. Um, and it's not pri- the price point on this is not so crazy high. I mean, it's, it's easy to use and incorporate into an every year type of system. As I was paging through your uh, book of success here, the Advanced Acre Cropping Systems booklet, did you make this? I did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fantastic. I, yeah. well, I find it very helpful. I just love using this thing. Good. What, in your mind, what is by far the most, um, like which roll crop responds the best to maneuver? So because, like I said, it takes that foster chassis, which I think we talked about last last session when I was in, mm-hmm. takes the, the foster chassis and adds on those nitrogen fixing bacteria. There are three for below ground and one for atmospheric fixing N. So I would say first and foremost, I'd put it on corn. Use it to treat your corn acres. What maneuver really is going to do, same thing with foster, is it's gonna really just help, how many farms of the farm ground around here, Colby, Wisconsin, how many of the fields are just even, uniform, fertility, yeah. soil type? It, it just There's some there, but there's not a lot. Right. So the beauty about maneuver is, yes, it can speed up these processes and help with the microbial acquired nutrition. But really what we see is it helps to reduce the variability that we have in soil type, uh, fertilizer, you know, NPK uh, levels in the soil. It just really helps to provide that nutrition all season long, especially when we get into the later part of the season. So I would say corn first and foremost. And then if a guy's looking at really wanting to push high yield beans and we're at 65 plus bushel and they said, you know, I really want to take this to the next level and get up and over 70, yeah. we know, we know that soybeans can only fix so much of their own nitrogen. And when we get to those type of yield levels, that's another place where maneuver would be a great position to help them provide that plant, that soybean plant with additional nitrogen. Do you see that this is being beneficial besides, um, you know, let's say if there's a farmer that talks like Matt sometimes where it's like, there's gotta be more to life than just corn and beans. Is there other crops that this maneuver can go on? Oh, definitely. You can use it on small grains and stuff if you want to. Oh, perfect. I, corn and soybeans is just the primary, you know, most what everybody's using. I gotta plant corn. <laughs> yeah. It's part of the conversation when we're at the, the breakfast table with a grower and saying, hey, do you realize, I know you're putting AMS or amphio, whatever your sulfur source is on your corn, or maybe on your soybeans, did you realize that the majority of that uptake is needed late from this point to this point? Mm-hmm. And just talking like general agronomics and how we can influence, again, influence that crop at a specific time. Because by that is really, truly, I think, how you're gonna be successful with biostimulants. It's not just, 
wing it out there and hope it's the next silver bullet, latest, greatest, and pick up 10, 15 bushel. It's really being specific and targeted and what is it I'm using and the why behind it. And that's why we really tried to build this book for us locally to say, here's how we feel the best success. We want to set you up for success. success. We want you to see it, touch it, feel it. Um, and here's how we do that all season long to show you guys that it's working, that we're seeing you know, increase, increase rooting or, um, growth, or we're seeing more pods per node and more beans per pod. And that all translates into yield. Right. And so, um, but just being very targeted, like with maneuver, really showcasing what it can do all season long for providing that nutrition. Are you ready for a hard question? Sure. Sure. <laughs> hit me. Let's, uh, hit me with it. Somebody would look at this and say like, well, I have, rotations i do some conservation implemented practices mm -hmm. would this be a benefit to me if i already have a pretty active biologically active field oh most definitely um again i kind of go back to when we sit at a kitchen table with a grower wait what yourself, are you having at this kitchen table by the way whatever they want to serve i mean i can bring donuts i can serve oh. <laughs> <laughs> But that's usually where we meet, right? Merry kitchen... breakfast. It's a plate of glazers. <laughs> <laughs> so when we're talking to growers with, you know, yourself included, it really, we ask a lot of questions because again, it kind of goes back to the agronomics. When Rosens brings these, whether it's maneuver or any of these biologicals to market has to satisfy three things. One, is it agronomic? Two, is it um, going to bring the grower a return on their investment? And then three, is it operationally efficient? You know, if it's, for example, maneuver, there's a lot of, there's a lot of biologicals that once you crack the jug or the bladder, you get 12 hours to use it and then they're dead. Mm -hmm. um, or if it hits your zinc source and your starter fertilizer, they're dead. Where maneuver, we built this, this um, product to be very stable, to really be able to handle your starter fertilizers and not compromise its efficacy. If it hits zinc, it's not a big deal. If we put it with UAN, not a big deal. 103040, not a big deal. Doesn't sweat the small stuff. Doesn't sweat, yeah, see? So it's just, we want it to be operationally easy for the grower, yourself to use. And, um, but back to your question. So if you had good, let's say you're in a conservation program, you have really good bacteria or, and, um, microbes in the soil yeah let's say i'm worm. kicking the shit out of soil conservation yes but it still goes back to a nutrition so yes they're they're bacteria yes you're inducing like that probiotic concept right into the soil and you already have a strong soil to begin with this still will help provide that nutrition season long because there's just more of them to do the breakdown whether hmm. you're manured or your organic matter and it's really just trying to help provide that season long does that make sense? It does. Just makes it more robust. Yes. All right. Anything else you'd like to finish up? I don't think wrap so. Wrap up with? Yeah. And um, if you guys have questions, by all means, reach out to Matt Short Lane. Um, Aw. Yep. And uh, they can find me or we can visit more about it. So. But, you know, you guys do such a great job of providing all the information and material for us. And you make it very easy to, to comprehend. And Good. yeah, it's a product that we're pretty excited about. We're. Mm -hmm. We're expecting that we're going to get some trials set up because we'd like to see this stuff in action because we got a lot of great feedback from fosters and you know, jazzed up the chassis. So people who are excited about fosters, they're going to get super jacked about this maneuver. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. All right. Well, Ashley, thank you so much thank for you. attending. If you like this video at home, why don't you hit the little like button there down at the bottom and we're going to catch you next time. Yay. Yay. Thanks.